and be welcome to Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. Today I'm going to talk about how you can reference a snapshot repository from one of your repositories to resolve uh, development versions um, or deployed artifacts of development versions from one of your uh, from one of your projects. Sorry. So as you might remember the last time I talked about how you can reference an external repository in general by adding this repositories tag here. And I added my uh, releases repository here in order to resolve the game loop dependency in this release version 001 from my Conway's Game of Life project. But many times if my projects are uh, kind of developed in lockstep, so I have a dependency that I develop at the same time as I develop its first client or one of its first clients, I do not always want to depend on release versions, which would require me to do a release for every um, update, but rather I would like to depend on the, depend on the development version on the current one. Uh, so I only have to deploy it in order to use it. And when I'm ready, when I uh, really want to, de to release that whole thing, I run a release, reference the release version here, and then I uh, am fixed to this one version. So. Um, as you might remember from my deployment episode, I already have the snapshots repository here with uh, some snapshots of my game loop 001 something uh, deployed into. So I'm just going to copy this URL real quick and I'm going to configure a second repository in my repository section, uh, which corresponds to my snapshot repository. So I'll say let's developer.maven.snapshots and the URL is going to be the one I just copied, which now allows me to do the following. Say here we add snapshot and if I save that, Maven should be able, um, so in the background it just checked for the availability of this um, dependency and since there is no error occurring it actually resolved that but let me verify that by just quickly running a maven test um, should be working quite fine which then means that it actually yep resolved the 001 snapshot version now there's something special about snapshots so far it's the same as with the release version but as you might remember from the deployment episodes um, I can do multiple deployments of the same development version and Maven will automatically add a timestamp behind the version um, to like mark when this development version was deployed so that I always know which one is the newest development version. And problem is if I now deploy a new development version here a Maven is not going to update that because by default Maven is checking the remote repository no uh, only after a certain threshold of time has passed in order not to uh, put too much load onto the servers. Um, so in order to depend on a snapshot repositories, uh, on a snapshot repository, you would want to configure that repository as a snapshot repository, which um, at first means to allow it to use snapshot dependencies and at first, uh, at second, set the update policy to always, which means that whenever you build the project, Maven will check if there's an update uh, of that dependency on the server, which means whenever I deploy a new development version, it will uh, resolve to that new development version here for the compile. So I can do a change in my game loop project, deploy that, development version to the server and it will automatically be resolved here, which means that I'm always working on the up-to-date state instead of some past state that happened to be the up-to-date one when I last, uh, when Maven last checked the server. Okay, that's already everything I wanted to tell you in this episode. I ho hope you could take something from it. If so, give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, of course, if you just liked it and knew about this before, in any ways, uh, drop me a comment, send, you, send me a message if you have any questions and I hope to see you next time.